How are you doing, creators? This is Rob speaking, and today we're going to take Bob, our friendly volunteer, and remove that green screen and replace it with a background image in iMovie 11. So before we get that started, we're going to go over here to our left. See, I made my mouse a little bigger, so hopefully you can track it. Uh, over here in our, under our libraries, we got iMovie library. Uh, we already have one event started, but what we don't have is a project. So first we're going to go ahead and hit new movie. No theme, but if you want to do a theme, you can pick a theme. It's up to your liking. And we're going to name it project. Project that falls under our event. So now that we have a project, the first thing we want to do is whatever is going to be in your backdrop is what you need to put down first. I'm going to go ahead and use this image right here. I'm going to click it and drag it. And if you don't have any images in there, you just import up here, this little tab, hit import, wherever your files are on your computer, your iPad if it's connected, iPhone, um, you can upload them from there. So like I said, the first thing we want to do is put what our backdrop is going to be down first. And the reason is because if we put the video we're green screening first, then we can't make it an overlay. Uh, we wouldn't be able to drop this underneath it because only audio will go underneath it. So we're going to grab our green screen guy here. Double click to make it uh, highlight the whole thing. And I'm going to drag them down here. And we're going to make this a little bigger. And if you want to shrink your timeline uh, on a Mac, if you just pinch and zoom. And in this case, I'm pinching. And I can shorten that timeline. Or you can go right over here to this little handy toolbar and shrink it that way. This is in the instance where you specifically video record for a green screen. If you want to remove a background that you didn't record specifically to have removed, uh, there are some options and I'm going to go over that and that's why I have Bob with the normal wall in the background. I'll go over that next. So when you're recording it, it's good to have two sets of light. One set of lights on the green screen itself to try to remove any shadows and another light on your subject. If you shine a light just on your subject, then you're going to cast a shadow onto the green screen and that's going to make it harder to remove. So in this case, I just did a quick video recording of it using my phone and you can see that I don't have an equal amount of lighting across the back. It's kind of darker on the edges and that can actually cause problems when I go to remove it. So to help that, if I can, I will remove some of that initially by either one cropping it out so if I don't need it I'll go ahead and hit crop crop to fill and I'll just shrink it a little bit because these are test subject anyway and that looks good another thing you can do to try to separate that gap of contrast between your subject and the background go to the colors palette and try to influence the colors obviously these whites are your highlights it'll adjust all the bright the brightest parts of your video we can try to adjust it to try to equal it out so as i raise up the highlights i notice that my background kind of equals out a little bit what i would like to do is make my subject a little bit darker to get away from that bright uh, green to make the green screen more effective when i apply it so i'm going to go up here to the darkers Just raise that a little bit. Maybe go to the semi mid tones, I guess. I don't know what they call this one. Well, there you go. Now, if we take our mid tones here, I think that's good enough to give it a shot and let's see what happens. So, to apply the green screen, click on your video, come up here, and you'll click on video overlay settings. If your video isn't on top of something, then it won't show up as an overlay and all you will see is nothing. So if you're going, I can't find the overlay tab, it's not there. 
make sure your video is on top of another video or image so it's showing in iMovie as an overlay. Click on overlay, click on your options over here on the left, choose a video overlay style, and we're gonna go green and blue. By default, when I click this, it's gonna look for a dominant green or blue and remove it automatically, but we can adjust it from there. So I'm gonna click on that, and it did fairly well. Um, as you can see, the default image is uh, faded from dark to light, top to bottom, with like a half crescent moon. Here it doesn't fully get uh, fully go through on this side. So how can we adjust that? We can by one, adjust the softness and hardness, and if you make it too broad, it'll include too much. So we're gonna mess with that, and it uh, well, kinda does, it hits the, it starts to do a better job here, but I can see my character lighten up, so I know it's catching some of him. So I'm gonna pull it back down to here. So if I want to clean it up, if there was just on the edging, I could essentially hit clean up and do this and remove it that way. And just to make this more visual appealing, I think I actually might change the background. If you want to change the back, that bottom layer, uh, you can use one of the already provided in your content library uh, under maps and, and backgrounds. You can go down here to a background colors and they have different things you can use. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick something that I might be able to see a little easier. Let's try orange. I'm gonna drag it over that clip, let it go. It's gonna prompt me, replace, replace from start, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna replace the whole thing. And drag it back out. Click on my video again to make sure. So now I can kind of tell a little better that you know, whether it's getting or not. So I'm gonna click on that overlay tab again. So before I get into this key, it's like a chroma key uh, selector. I wanna try something else first. I wanna go up to my colors palette again. And as I adjust these, still react to the color itself. So, um, as you can see, I darken it up. You see it affecting, so which is kind of handy because uh, it's kind of instant feedback on whether what you're doing. Pretty good. There. So, what if your character wasn't behind or in front of a green screen? We're going to go back to our events and let's say we just captured our guy because. All you had, you don't have a green screen. Like, do you have to buy a professional green screen? No, you can use a green sheet. In fact, what I'm using is a green sheet. Some people paint their walls green or blue. But let's say all I had was a white wall. All right, so let's see how close we can get to them. And our intent wasn't recording it to to do a remove the background, but let's say now we want to. So we're gonna go over here, see if we can darken our character up and lighten up the wall a little bit. All right, I think that's good enough for demonstration purposes. We can take the tones and fade it out, take some of the color away. And now we'll go over to our overlay tab. Actually, we're gonna crop it first. Let's try it right about there. And check for good. Check for good. Overlay tab. Blue, green, so I'm actually looking for blue or green. And uh, I don't think it actually caught anything. Sometimes it catches the blue in, in my uh, little character guy here. But we're gonna hit this little magic wand. I don't even know what they call it on here. Uh, drag group across the screen until shown. All right, so to use this, you click it on the color that you wanna remove 
and you drag it towards the lightest or darkest spot of that color but and it will include a range of colors to remove the only problem is if you look at the character he's brown the background like an off-white wall uh, those colors on the color palette are kind of close so it's going to be tough to remove it see as soon as I hit the dark side of the wall half the character moved so if I just click it once it like restarts itself basically like if I click on there but if I click and drag it will include more so yeah so that shows you how difficult it can be if you don't have a good background already set if you're going to remove a, a background it's best to record for that purpose and play around with it you know as you can see I just used a little stat you can use any object put it behind a wall a solid color you can use uh, white paper uh, black as long as again the colors are separate from your subject uh, on the spectrum and play around with it uh, you know do a couple practice kind of get the feel of what it takes to produce something good so when you actually go out and try to record for that purpose uh, your outcome will be greatly improved and, and less of a headache so once again thank you for watching uh, I hope this helped and if you stuck around this long uh, I'm sorry <laughs> but thank you for stopping by creators have fun with iMovie uh, create something awesome and unique share it with me thanks for stopping by have fun and keep creating